morning, stand strong. That's my message for this morning, stand strong. This is the Fellowship of the Book brought to you by the 66 Books Ministry. My name is Victor Robert Farrell. We're in the historical book still this morning. And I want to encourage you to read Second Chronicles chapters 32 and 33. Did I tell you my signpost words for this morning are stand strong? Well, that's what they are. Here's our key text, as it were, our highlight verse from those two chapters. Are you ready? It's only two verses, Second Chronicles 32, verse 7 and 8, which reads like this. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid nor dismayed before the king of Assyria, nor before all the multitude that is with him. For there are more with us than with him. With him is the arm of flesh, but with us is the Lord our God to help us fight our battles. And the people were strengthened by the words of Hezekiah, king of Judah. Some brief observations this morning then. The devil is a very fierce foe, and his plans and his evil intentions have been around an awful long time. He does not give up easily that which he has long counted as his own possession. Note now, all clean houses bring seven more devils to try and occupy them. Therefore, expect resistance. Therefore, expect infiltration and turmoil after all reformations, both personal and national and otherwise. Evil never sleeps, but then again, neither does God. The aftermath of present victories is not a time for the conquerors to rest. This is the space for consolidation. This is the space to make sure that the peace is won. This is the time to build a bedrock for the future. A call to action then for us, we fight though often the odds are greatly against us. We fight, though there are seemingly insurmountable and overwhelming obstacles before us. Only a vision of God and his armies which surround us, which are with us, will strengthen us for continuing the fight and give us the victory we so desperately need. Therefore, listen now, calm yourselves. Calm yourselves before the big mouth ever speaking foe and keep on praying to God. Listen now, God shall deliver you. God shall establish you. God shall give you the victory. Press on, press in, praise God this morning.